Hello, welcome to Manchester United News Channel. Manchester United were linked with Fernandes for most of the summer. He was the name hot on the lips of everybody but, like Wesley Snyder and Nicholas Gaitan in previous years, there was never anything truly in it. The Red Devils were understood to be angry at the constant links to the sporting star, believing the Portuguese giants to be using the speculation to drive the player's price up. Manchester United fans were crying out for Fernandes to arrive on transfer deadline day but 5pm came and went without the player arriving. And the Manchester Evening News say United factored two players into their decision. By the end of the summer, Jorge Mendes was promising Fernandes he would secure him a move away next year. But United were wary of getting the Portugal international having been burned over Angel Di Maria and Radam Falcao in recent years. Mendes represents both players. And United signed them both, in 2014, only for them to be out of the door 12 months later. Mendes has had a good rapport with United over the years. Oh. And it is he who has been helping negotiate a contract extension for David De Gea, who is primed to stay at the club. Mendes also represented Cristiano Ronaldo during his time at United. And that allowed the Red Devils to get six successful years out of the forward during his playing days. Meanwhile, speaking after the transfer window shut, Solskjaer insisted he was happy with what he has. Do you know, I think when the transfer window closes it's a great feeling of relief now it's done. Now we know we're looking forward with and I'm delighted with the three we've signed. On whether he understood the frustration of some United fans, Solskjaer added, well that's not the feeling inside the club and the feeling with the fans I've met is, that they are excited with the ones we've got. There are always going to be fans out there wanting to sign players, that's part and parcel of being here. But the players are here now and have been shown that trust and we believe in them. Tottenham were also linked with a move for Fernandez. But Spurs thought the sporting star would cost too much and, with Christian Eriksen still on the books, decided against a deal. Let's block ads. Why? <laughs>